Okay, so um, we're looking at this one. I am supposed to prove DH is congruent to FK at the end of the day. So that's where I'm trying to get. Oh, golly. Okay, so first let's find where those even are. Okay, so it's these lines here. DH and KF. That's what I'm trying to get to. Um, anybody have any thoughts? I marked everything. Just say things that anything that you know, even if we don't end up using it. If you have extra steps in your proof and you don't end up using them, that's fine as long as they're not incorrect. Anybody see anything we could do? Any triangles you could get congruent. That's a good thing to look for. There's lots of triangles in this diagram, by the way. Cole? Could you do the shared side or could you not could you split? So I can do GE congruent to itself. You could say HK congruent to it itself, but that's not really gonna help you because that's not an entire side of the triangle. But I think GE being congruent to itself would help us. Yeah, Adam? See, I don't think you can, because you wouldn't know that the entire hypotenuse GK is congruent to the other hypotenuse oh. HE, you know what I mean? But I can say that all of GE is congruent to all of GE. That does get me two triangles congruent. Which two triangles are congruent if I say GE is congruent to itself? Anybody see? Eve? Yeah. Yes, the big triangles. Because you already have two sides, right? I have two sides of those big triangles, and now I get the third. So I can now say, let's make sure that we line it up correctly. So if I say, um, I think you said EFG. So if you say EFG for one triangle, we have to match it. So if I'm looking at the bottom triangle, EFG, notice E is formed by a side that has two slashes and none. So who is formed by two slashes and none in the top triangle? Out of D, G, or E? G. So I have to put G first. F has to match up with D. That one's not bad. And then... Uh, G is one slash and no slashes, one slash and no slash E. So it would have to go, if I did EFG, I'd have to go GDE. And what's my reason for that? Yes, side, side, side. So remember, if I'm grading this and you say this, I'm looking, oh, there's a side, there's a side, there's a side. There's your SSS. All right, cool. Now that I have those two triangles congruent, Remember, that gets you. You now have six things that you know are congruent. We already have the three sides, but now you get the other, you get all their angles. Would any of their angles being congruent help me at all, you think? I dare say they will, but uh, it's kind of up to you who you want to, which one you want to go with. Julia? Sure, so you're saying this one with this one? Is that what you mean? I agree, so I'm going to call that this one's angle. You know what, let's put numbers in there to make our lives easier. Let's call this one angle one and this one angle two. So I can say angle one is congruent to angle two and how do we know that? You're, you're not that far off, but Isabella, that's the CPCTC. If you have congruent triangles, you get all those six pieces of information. So if you're using any of those six, any of the three sides or any of the three angles, you're going to use CPCTC. All right. So remember, let's revisit. My end goal is to get these two DH congruent to FK. So let's see. Oh my gosh. 
I think we're, we're like two steps away. Because now hold on, how can I show that these two are congruent? Wouldn't it be nice if I said that there was congruent triangles and then these are, would just be another CPCTC, right? If I could just get two triangles congruent that, that have this, that this is one of their sides, I think I can. Do you see them? Go ahead, Eve. Uh, triangle A, F, G. Yes. Yes, these two that I'm shading over. Don't you have enough? Look what you have. You have an angle, a side, and an angle that matches here. Angle, side, angle. <gasps> and then, so once I say those two triangles are congruent, then I can say these two sides, CPCPC, and I'm done. Oh my gosh. So let's just not mess this up. If I say triangle, um, I think you said KFG. But remember, it doesn't matter how you name the first one, you just got to match the second one up. So if I say KFG, so who matches with K in the top triangle? H. F is the 90 that's got to match with D. And then G is the one marked with one arc, so that would have to match up with E. And what's our reason? Yes, angle, side, angle. So remember what I'm doing. I'm looking for, there better be two angles and a side somewhere. It doesn't matter where in your proof, but it has to be before this line. So here's an angle. Then I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm, oh, you know what? We never said that these two were equal to each other. Oh, golly. Oh, I'm glad we did that. So we should actually have sneak in a line 4.5. If we're going to be official, official, because we should say that these two angles are equal to each other. How do we know that? All right angles are equal. So, oh, I'm glad we checked. So, you know what? I'm going to, yeah, I'll just sneak in 4.5. Angle HDE should be congruent to KFG. KFG. And then for the reason, we can just say all right angles. All right, ruin, whatever. There's my other angle. And then for the side, we had DE and GF. And there, that was in the given. So there would be my side for that one. All right, cool. So now step six. Now I can go ahead and say what I was trying to prove. DH, oh, thank you. FK, CP, CTC. Is there another way to do this proof? I'm sure. I'm sure there's probably 10 ways you could have done it. But that's sort of the goal, okay? And I'm telling you, you can't get so focused on where you need to end up. That's a good thing to sort of keep in your mind, but start proving what you can. Look for any two triangles you can get congruent. And then, because once you unlock that, the first set of two triangles that are congruent, now you have six things you could pull from. Three sides and three angles. That opens up a whole world to help you get to where you need to be. How do you feel? Want to try some on your own? Yes. What was the, why did you have to add the 4.5 in? Again? So I didn't, I never had, in order, for, I need two angles and a side, right? So in order for it to be an angle, I literally need angle this is equal to angle this. And I didn't have that. All I had was HTE and KFG were right angles. I never said that they were equal to each other. Oh. So I'm being a little bit nitpicky here. Like if this were a proof and you turn that in and you didn't have that, I might take off half a point, maybe a full one, but it's not like a catastrophic mistake, but we did need to say somewhere, hey, these two angles are actually equal to each other. Does that make sense? So same thing for sides, right? Like if they tell you, hey, M is the midpoint of NO. If you never go in there and say, well, this is equal to this, you don't actually get that side. 
a lot of times we just mark it in the diagram because it's instinctually you see, oh, it's midpoint, so that's what that means. But if you don't put that in the proof, it doesn't really count. So if you self-check yourself and you're like, okay, if I need a side, I better have A, B is congruent to B, C or whatever it is. You know what I mean? Same thing if you forget to do a reflexive one, if they share it, there's gonna be a side that you're missing. So I highly encourage you to self-check yourself. When you say side, 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 go back up. There better be three instances where you did two you know, sides equal to each other. Whatever, it doesn't have to be in order. If you do side, angle, side, you don't have to do a side, then an angle, then a side, but you had better have somewhere two sides and one angle. Get what I'm saying? Okay, and it will help you catch little mistakes that you make. Or a pair of vertical angles. Maybe you mark it in the diagram. You never said it. You got to say it in your columns. Okay. You want to try some on your own or with other people. I don't care. You can work together. I don't mind at all. Let me give you some to try. Um, but yeah, that's it for these. Any questions right now? Okay. All right. Where's these? Oh, I already took them out. Got these fancy new clips. Big ones and little ones. Oh, fun. How was everybody's weekend? What'd you do? Oh, that's fine. Okay. Yes, I think there's only one left. Yeah. I actually, when my sister was here, she's watching it too. We went back and watched the first couple. So I'm like, oh, I bet now that we know all this information, if we go back and watch some of the beginning ones, we'll be stuff that we missed. Boy, is there ever. So. So feel free to work together. I don't even care if you go in order. I think if I remember right, they go easier to harder. So you might want to start at the beginning, but that's up to you. Let me go ahead and stop this.